which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Work on roll, please. Denied. Here. Rosak. Here. Crouch. Here. Scarberry. Here. Mayor Lansford. Here. Do we have changes to the agenda? Oh, yeah, thank you, Mayor. Uh, under the uh, Planning Commission uh, receiving place on file item 4, uh, recommendation uh, 15 is going to be pulled. Uh, the Planning Commission took no action on the Elks Lodge uh, uh, petition. And recommendation 16, there is no formal recommendation. All that was done at the Planning Commission was a uh, motion to allow the change we can discuss under the uh, action item. Uh, and then uh, related to that, items 8 and 9 on the agenda, uh, item 8 will be pulled uh, due to the fact that it did not come out of the Planning Commission. Uh, and then item 9 will be, uh, uh, resolution is not required, just a simple motion uh, by the council. Uh, if you are in, uh, allowing the change uh, from the awnings to the murals, we'll talk about it a little bit. So those are the only changes. Let me see if I get those correct now. So uh, we're removing from the agenda 2018-15 under number four. Correct. And we are removing 2018-45, number 8, Correct. from the agenda, and changing 2018.46, changing that from a resolution to a motion. Correct. And there was already a previous resolution authorizing the Passai grant. It's just a motion to allow a change. Okay. On the front page, it was also... Yes, there's one more on the front page. Which one? 16. Uh, bottom one. Yeah, recommendation okay. 2018 16. Again, same issue with the Planning Commission. Uh, a formal recommendation wasn't required. Okay. Uh, they just they looked at the change and made a motion to approve. Okay. Can I have a motion to approve the changes to the agenda? So moved. Right. Second. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Clerk, call the roll, please. Be I. Aye. Rosak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mayor Lansford? Aye. We'll move to public comment. Anyone would like to address the council for the three minute time limit? Please step to the podium and state your name. If not, then we'll move to item number one. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, item one under old business is, uh, if you remember, at last month's meeting, uh, there was a petition for the owner of 921 Laura to uh, vacate the alley adjacent to the uh, home there. Uh, the day of that meeting, we had an uh, uh, email come in and a call come in from a neighboring property owner uh, questioning the need for it. I hadn't had a chance at the time to talk to that neighbor. I have since done so. Uh, still weren't in support of, of closing the alley, but uh, no real objection, except that they thought it shouldn't be. Uh, the alley still has never been approved. The city has no plans, so staff recommendation is if the council desires to go ahead and uh, vacate that alley. Did anybody want to check it out? Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's still access to it from the south. I mean, so it's good, so. Yeah, it's the grass. I wouldn't yeah. know it was an alley. Yeah, yeah. you wouldn't know. I'd right. entertain a motion to adopt an ordinance approving the vacation of a public right of way for a north south alley adjacent to Laura Avenue and Bazaar Streets in the city of Stewart. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any other discussion? Clerk, call roll, please. B. Dye? Aye. Brozak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mayor Lansford? Aye. Item 2. I did too, again, as old business, uh, if you remember from last month, uh, there was a couple of changes made to the ordinance uh, to reflect that the street names uh, denote what the, the, the uh, famous person from Streeter did as opposed to just say, stating their name. So those are the changes that are in front of you and uh, you discuss or approve the ordinance. Yeah, I was asked to take comments on that since our last meeting. And there were eight that liked the idea of using the achievements and the name, like we proposed. One wanted to do a, a former mayor, and two wanted to do glass capital of the world, which you know, we'll consider in the future. But it was uh, nobody against this at all. Everyone was for it. 
Council, any, any suggestions or changes to it other than how it was presented and we've had a chance to review it? Okay. I've entertained a motion to adopt an ordinance amending the Streeter Municipal Code of Ordinances, Chapter 12.40, to permit honorary street designation. So, mm -hmm. second. Kirk, call roll, please. Beat aye. Aye. Rosak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mayor Lansford? Aye. Item three. Uh, item three, uh, uh, as been a discussion at some of your previous meetings uh, about the uh, policy for city uh, city parks, use of parks, and I think uh, mainly the uh, change to the policy regarding uh, the pavilion, uh, the plum pavilion. So um, you guys have discussed in the past, but uh, if it's uh, if it's where you guys want it, then we'd recommend approval. We've all had a chance to review it since the last meeting. So, is there any other suggestions or comments? I'm just looking at the application for it, and it says groups of 25 or more must provide proof of insurance. Um, for that one, I guess if it's a family reunion or that type of activity, I don't know if we should require insurance on it versus like an event where you're inviting public. I just wanted to look at that a little more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we have not uh, in the past required that. Been an event of some kind, yes, we have, but if it's a family or yeah. some type of a party, then we have not. So. But the, yeah, but the, could be a fine line between some group yeah. you may not want in the park in a family reunion. You'd like to know who's there, or I suppose, but they should register, I would think. I don't think we need proof of insurance. Also, the policy is administered by the administration staff. I think it's something we could probably work out. It's, just administratively, but, uh, but the permits required regardless, so that way we do know who's yeah. in the park. We can get the facilities ready. Okay. Is everybody okay? Yeah, we can always come back. Okay. Can I entertain a motion? Boom. Okay. For a second. Second. Any other discussion? Clerk, all roll, please. B. Dye? Aye. Rosak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Airlines? Aye. Item four. Uh, Cheryl, do we need to do these separately? Um, you know what? Let's do belt and suspenders and let's do them separately. Or, let's do belt and suspenders and okay. take them all separately. All right. <coughs> okay. I'd entertain a motion to place on file the plan commission's recommendation 2018 12. Can I have a motion? So moved. For a second. Second. Any discussion? Clerk, call a roll, please. Beat aye. Aye. Rosak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mayor Lansford? Aye. I'd entertain a motion to place on file the Plan Commission's recommendation 2018 13. So moved. Second. second. Any other discussion? Clerk, call a roll, please. Beat aye. Aye. Rosak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mayor Lansford? Aye. And entertain a motion to place on file the Plan Commission's recommendation 2018-14. So moved. Second. Any other discussion? Yes. Do you get additional discussion? No, I think when we go to... Yeah, uh, number four is just to receive a place on this file. This is just to receive yeah. a place on file. Everybody okay? All right, clerk, call the roll, please. Beat aye. Aye. Rosak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mayor Lansford? Aye. And if that is the last, uh, those yes. are the three recommendations from the Planning Commission. Okay. Thank you. Number five. Number five uh, is uh, uh, following the at the planning commission meeting, the uh, St. Michael School uh, made a petition for a special use permit to replace their existing sign on the south of the building uh, that is visible from uh, Park Street. Uh, they'd like to replace that with an electronic message sign, uh, but they would also like to be able to sell advertising on that sign. 
Uh, so the special use permit would allow for the uh, sign to be electronic, uh, like you've seen the uh, Curly Sleep Shop and some of those other signs of that nature. It'll be that type of sign, but the special use permit recommended by the Planning Commission would allow them to sell advertising. So it would be a billboard. So that's what's in front of you tonight. I'd, I'd entertain a motion to adopt an ordinance approving the issuance of a special use permit to St. Michael's School in conjunction with the installation of an electronic message board at 410 South Park Street. And so moved. Is there a second? Yes. Now, is there any discussion? Is there anything in our sign ordinance about, I guess, go boards, if you call it, advertising on? Uh, it, they require a special use permit. In all, in all cases, go boards require a special use. So just uh, half of the reason they're here, the other half is that the electronic message sign faces a residential house, uh, which is not allowed by the code. So the special use will take care of both of those issues. Is the homeowner say anything to us? I uh, hadn't heard, did, did I hear from the homeowner? Uh, and the clerk just reminded me that uh, one of the conditions placed on it, on the recommendation uh, and agreed to by St. Michael School was that it would only operate from 7 in the morning until 10 at night. So it will then shut off. So it's not going to be running at night? It's not going to be running at night. And that's a special condition, again, that the uh, Planning Commission recommended that you include the ordinance and it is in that language. Are we opening up other requests for signage that individuals can rent out? It, uh, a billboard, uh, again, that's why billboards in the zoning code are by special use, so each one is a unique situation. So you will get a chance to, if someone comes in, you'll have to look at it in each individual circumstance. Mm -hmm. Commercial versus a school, it's different. So it, it, again, uh, in this case, you know, it's along uh, Route 23, uh, so that, you know, that makes sense for billboards. It's in a unique spot down in the residential area, but it is on a state route. Uh, so it, it would set a precedent that billboards are allowed on 23, but they already are. The last one uh, billboard special use I recall is the large billboard at Taco Bell, uh, right, just to the front of Taco Bell was issued by special use. Uh, and that's the only one in 14 years that I've been here that's been issued besides this one tonight. So. I remember that there was one that was grandfathered in that when the property sold, <clears throat> the uh, special use was not to continue but enhance. It's on Park Street. Oh, yes. Uh, the, uh, yeah, that, that was a, a changeable message sign. Yes. Uh, I just remember that came up with the council. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm Attorney can jump in here that, you know, if you were concerned about setting a precedent and you wanted to put a sunset on this provision, just on the provision of the, of the advertising and, you know, five, ten years, whatever the case may be, and then if it became an issue, you could say, well, we sunset it and then it would go away. The sign doesn't have to come down, but the advertising could, but that's completely okay, they, they come back for another They could come back again, I mean, that way you wouldn't be setting a precedent you couldn't get out of, I guess. That's correct. That would be great. So the hours be, concern me too. That's a little late to apply your money. I mean, eight o'clock. So eight. I mean, that's reasonable. But. Anybody else? Nine o'clock or something. Ten is pretty long. And if you like, uh, uh, if you would like to hold it over, I did. The uh, principal, uh, unfortunately, Mrs. Blumenschein. Uh, did have a, a prior commitment tonight, and I said, you know, if there was discussion, uh, we would ask. I, I would ask if you we want to table it until she could be here. Uh, but if you want to proceed, that's your your prerogative too. But unfortunately, she had a, a school issue to deal with. It's a pleasure of the council. I mean, would you like to look at it more, or you like to change the time? time or, I think we're fine. Right? I, mean, I understand the purpose of it. I understand the need for it. School systems or and what we can do to help, but I just I would truly like you know at ten o'clock at night I would not like seeing me outside flashing a light. 
living in Whitman, mm -hmm. seven to nine, seven to eight, and that's fine. But so do we want to table it? Think about well, it. What, what you could do, if, if the time is the only issue, uh, Mr. Scarberry made the motion. You could amend your motion uh, to approve the ordinance as presented and amend the section seven, limiting the time. And then if the school did have an issue with it, they could come back and talk to you later, but at least that would be, it would be approved and okay. they could continue with the purchase of the sign if you wanted to. I'm willing to make the motion. Okay. Setting it at 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock. Everybody okay? We're still second on that. I'll <coughs> second. Okay. Second. So everybody's okay now? Just it's going to be 9 o'clock p.m.? Not a sunset. That was, so that'll be the second issue is whether or not you wanted to, on the advertising portion, say they could advertise for a period of five years and where you'd look at it again, or you could just leave it as is. That's probably of the council. What happens if the... Um, if the building comes down or something happens to the building. Once the special, once the use ended, the permission granted hereby would end as well. So if it's not there, then it ends. Right. As long as everyone's had to come before us. Every billboard has to come before the council. <coughs> Okay, and we get the second from Ed. Okay. Clerk, four roll, please. B9? Aye. Rosette? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mayor Lansford? Aye. Item six? Uh, item six is uh, the owner of uh, 1203 North Watson has petitioned, uh, she's operated a uh, hair salon in a, in a detached garage on the property for years. Uh, legal not conforming. At the time it was established, it was a legal use. Uh, so she would now like to convert that uh, salon into an efficiency apartment for herself. Uh, as of right now, the, uh, the special use permit would allow her to rent that property out, or, or the house for that matter. She's talked about that as well. But uh, at the Planning Commission, she stated that her goal is she's getting older. She would like to move into that. Uh, the house has many levels and the efficiency be on the first floor. So this special use permit uh, was recommended by the Planning Commission and would allow her to convert the salon into a uh, efficiency apartment. Any type of remodeling or changes that uh, there is, I'd have to have any type of city um, review and oversight and approval. Yes, uh, uh, it will still require a building permit. Everything she does will require a building permit. I entertain a motion to adopt an ordinance approving the issuance of a special use permit to Judith A. Richardson, owner 1203 North Watson Street, to allow for the conversion of a legal non conforming accessory apartment at 1203 North Watson Street. So, is there a second? Second. Is there any other discussion? Clerk, call the roll, please. Lead I? Aye. Rosak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Marilyn's for time. Item 7? Uh, <coughs> item 7 is, uh, the petitioner is here tonight. Uh, the Planning Commission uh, recommended this with one uh, day uh, uh, dissenter uh, for the uh, special, use, special use permit for 702 North Otter Creek. Uh, there's a uh, dilapidated house on the property now. Uh, petitioner, Mr. Pedalty, uh, would like to demolish that house and be allowed to install a residential garage on the property. Uh, uh, there was some discussion at the Planning Commission about limiting the size of the, uh, of the garage, but ultimately they did not uh, uh, they did not add that stipulation to it, So, uh, but there was discussion on it. Uh, so uh, the only stipulation that they did have, and Mr. Penalty agreed that's how he was going to proceed anyway, is that he would uh, orient the garage on the lot so that a house could be built in the future. So. Uh, again, it was recommended by the Planning Commission, so now it's up for uh, you guys to decide. Uh, the special use is being sought because our code does not allow uh, for a resident or for a garage accessory structure without a house on the lawn. So that's why he's seeking to uh, see if that can be approved. Okay, so so there is the possibility then of future use of that lot of building a house. It, it, the, the garage will be oriented in such a way that it is possible to build a house on it. 
and tearing down the dilapidated structures yes. currently there would be an improvement. Mr. Mayor, just a technical correction to the ordinance. In paragraph two, or section two of the ordinance, it refers to a petition filed by Judith A. Richardson. Obviously, that's a typographical error. And the final ordinance, if it is approved by City Council, will refer to the correct petitioner, Scott Medenzi. I have, I have Scott Medenzi now, and we're on number seven. And just a typo on the ordinance. It's a typo on the ordinance okay. itself. Okay. So that, okay. that technical correction would be made. Okay. I'd entertain a motion to adopt an ordinance approving the issuance of a special use permit to Scott Penalty owner 702 North Otter Creek Street to allow for the demolition of an existing residential house and the construction of a new residential garage. So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any other discussion? I'll be watching because I'm listening to Black Woods. <laughs> How large of a garage are you putting up? Is it for yourself? Um, what I would like to build is something about 28 feet by 36 feet, approximately what, what I would consider a three car garage. Okay. It's not a business or anything. Oh, no, not, no, Your not, personal no, I, yeah. I have too many toys. Okay. <laughs> well, the ordinance was put in place because of that at one time. Um, people were buying old lots and putting up I guess non-conforming business in the residential area, and we had problems with them. That's why it's hard to no, not no ready. business whatsoever. Right. And I will say just for the minutes, uh, the staff recommendation that uh, actually uh, staff in front of the flag commission took no position on the um, on the recommendation. Basically, just stated the facts. But uh, one of the facts stated uh, was that it is on Otter Creek Street. Uh, so basically, going into those saying uh, the precedent would be set. That it's a major street as opposed to in some of the neighborhoods. It could be decided at the council later dates, but that was but one so of the issues the plan commission wait. wait. Zoning is still residential. Zoning right? is still residential, but it is on a high volume street as opposed yeah. to a local street. What Mr. Pelley wants to do, the house is, needs to come down and thank him for doing it. Um, I think it's a very positive move. Any other comments? I would just say I'm only torn just because I don't want people popping up with a bunch of garages, but the house does need to come down. I'd rather um, Mr. Pedley do that and the city end up taking it down eventually. Um, my only question is how close are you to it? I know you're not a, adjacent. I have a block. Like a block? One block away. Okay. A block to the west. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were right next door. No, it's not adjacent. That's the only. Because mm -hmm. if it's adjacent, you can combine the lots. Hopefully you'll build a house on it next. I don't foresee myself building a house on it. Any other comments? Clerk, call the roll, please. Be back. Aye. Rosette. Aye. Crouch. Aye. Scarberry. Aye. Mayor Lansford. Aye. Number eight. Uh, that has been withdrawn. Agenda. Yeah. Number nine. Uh, so, uh, number nine, correct. It's just it's no longer a resolution, but just uh, we would ask that you would review the changes proposed by Mr. Schmidt, uh, the owner of Don's Furniture. Uh, in, the, in the original resolution, they were proposing and the facade grant. Uh, they were going to put awnings on each of the second floor windows. Uh, after the the uh, window murals that went in at Monroe Tap, uh, uh, Mr. Schmidt contacted the same uh, artist and has the artwork which you have in front of you to. Instead of putting in the second floor awnings, they'd replace those with window murals. Uh, so he would like to uh, change to that, and the uh, Planning Commission uh, made a motion recommending that change. So what would the amount be? Uh, the, the, the dollar amount for the facade grant does not change. It's just simply the look. Our amount is up to 15000 It's up to 15000 and, uh, and all told, between the tuck pointing they've done, oh, okay. uh, the sign work, and this, they're, I think they're over $25,000. So we're changing. Yeah, all we're doing is changing 
uh, what we're allowing, but the, the cost is not changing. All right. So he's not going to put awnings in. He's going to paint windows and he's going to put the mural on. Yeah, there, there'll be the aluminum murals. Okay. So the motion would be to alter the facade grant to permit murals in place of awnings. Correct. I'd entertain a motion to approve the recommendation from Planning Commission to grant permission to alter the facade grant award to Bill Schmidt, owner 311 East Main Street, in the amount of $15,000 approved by the City Council on October 18, 2017. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any other discussion? Clerk, call roll, please. Meet I. Aye. Rosette. Aye. Crouch. Aye. Starberry. Aye. Right. Item 10. Uh, thank you. I'll actually turn this over to uh, Julie Lucas, uh, who's here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we are just recommending, Eric and I have been working on a project with Frontier. Uh, we have an old phone system. It's been here since I've been here, so it's 19 years old. Um, we can no longer get parts for the voicemail system. And we are currently on two separate systems between the police department and upstairs. So this would um, also save us money each month on our bill. The uh, upfront cost would be $19,941, but the savings per year is going to be $10,296. So we're asking that you approve our recommendation to put in a new phone system for City Hall. And, and it's all, all so the city buildings. It's going to combine the city to one system on the cloud, basically it's voice over IP. How old is the current system, did you say? 20 years. About 20 years. 20 years. And that's been, yeah. Okay, so the, the annual savings would be approximately 13000 a year? Well, part of that is going to change. We were going to switch our iFiber internet charges to Frontier as well, but we found out that it's going to cost more to get that converted, so we're going to take that out. So the annual savings will be $10,296. For, that's just for the phone system. And we're going to continue with iFiber for the internet. Okay, so approximately ten thousand a year savings, so about a two-year payback. Right. Could be right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'd entertain a motion to second or to approve and authorize the replacement and upgrade of the city's telephone system for city hall departments. So moved. Is second? Second. Any discussion? Is that just general fund? Yeah. Yes. Clerk, call roll, please. Beat I? Aye. Rosak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mayor Lansford? Aye. Item 11? Uh, item 11, Mayor, is uh, designated uh, designating additional handicap spots, uh, four of them, uh, throughout the downtown. Uh, with next year's upcoming project uh, for the, uh, to replicate the concept block throughout downtown with our ITEP grant. Uh, and we've had a couple of uh, requests come in from some of the business owners. It was, looked at holistically through downtown about where uh, handicapped uh, spaces make sense. Uh, so the four additional spaces are uh, are being uh, recommended tonight for approval. Uh, you'll have one at the uh, northeast corner of Park and Main, uh, one at the southwest corner of Vermilion and Main, one at the north uh, east corner of Vermilion and Main, and one at the northeast corner of Sterling and Main. Uh, so that will uh, those four additional spaces uh, that will supplement the uh, five that are already downtown. Basically, you'll have two in every block is what we're trying to do. I've had a couple of calls come in from individual uh, property owners requesting handicap parking, and I asked, you know, that we would do uh, a look-see over the entire downtown area rather than piecemeal it and make the recommendations of where they should be placed. So this will be according to that. Downtown plan. Correct. Yes. Okay. I'd entertain a motion to an ordinance, adopt an ordinance to designate an additional four handicapped parking spaces within the 200 to 500 block of East Main Street. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any other discussion? Clerk, call roll, please. Be it aye. Aye. Rose Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mayor Lansford? Aye. Item 12. I think uh, item 12, Mayor, is uh, for the past several years uh, we've uh, been applying for a uh, abandoned properties uh, grant from the Illinois Housing Development Authority, 
And in the first three rounds, we've been lucky enough to uh, receive funding. Uh, it helps us uh, recoup costs for the demolition of abandoned houses. Uh, so there's another round open. Round four uh, is open, and the application is due in the middle of December. So this uh, will allow us to put in that grant and try to uh, recoup the cost for what we tore down this year. Thank you. I'd entertain a motion to support the application for an Illinois Housing Development Authority had grant in conjunction with the demolition of abandoned properties in the city of Streeter. So moved. For a second. 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 Any other discussion? Clerk, call roll, please. Pete, aye. Aye. Rosette. Aye. Crouch. Aye. Scarberry. Aye. Mayor Lansford. Aye. Uh, I'd entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda including the resolution to replace the time frame report of a sexual allegation to the Illinois Department of Human Rights. Councilman Crouch will abstain from Section E. This, the sexual allegation, it's to, they've made some recommendations to the minor change right for the sexual It's a minor allegation. change. Uh, you used, previously you would have 180 days to report a claim of sexual harassment to the Illinois Department of Human Rights. The law changed to make it 300 days, and so we need to make the same technical correction to the city's sexual harassment policy. I'd entertain a motion, please. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any other discussion? Clerk, call roll, please. Beat aye. Aye. Rosak? Aye. Crouch? Aye. Scarberry? Aye. Mel Aye. Uh, we move to uh, city official comments. I just want to wish everyone a happy holiday uh, with Thanksgiving coming next week and uh, invite people to the Keeping Christmas Close to Home activities on Saturday the 24th. There'll be a uh, light up streeter and the parade and a lot of events on that. And then I believe also. December 7th is the Maryland Main event with, for shopping downtown. So keep those on your calendars. Yeah. All I have is Happy Thanksgiving for everyone. Brian? Yep, yeah, same here. Have a Happy Thanksgiving. Joe? Yeah, thank you all for coming tonight. It's good to see such a great good crowd. <laughs> happy holidays. Uh, I entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Your second. Second. Oh, Need I? I. Rosak. I. Crouch. I. Scarberry. I. Mary Lansford. I. Stand adjourned. Thanks, sir.